Hi there. Now, before we look at part C of this question, I'll just run through what we've covered in parts A and B. That was that if we had a bag that contained a large number of 1p, 2p and 5p coins, and the proportions are shown here, then a random sample of three coins is chosen from the bag. And in part A, we had to list all the possible samples of size 3 with median 5p. And this was our selection of samples then of size 3 with a median of 5p. And in part B, we had to go on to find the probability that the median value of the sample is 5p. And we found out that it was 0.216. Now for part C, we've got to go on and find the sampling distribution of the median of samples of size 3. And this is for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can compare your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, we could not only just have a median of 5, but we could also have a median of 1 and 2. So what I want to do first of all, if we've got to set up this sampling distribution, is to define a random variable. And what I'm going to have is to let Let's say let the random variable x, so let x be the random variable, put rv for short, and that random variable is going to be the median. And so we would need to set up a probability distribution table. So it's going to look something like this. We've got our observed value x and the probability that the median equals any of our observed values. So one of those observed values would be a median of 5. But what would the other ones be? Well, they're going to be 1, 2 and 5. So we'll just put those in that you could get a 1, 2 or a 5. Now I've already got the probability for 5 and that was 0.216. So that means that all we need to do now is work out one of these two probabilities because as soon as we've got one of them we know that the total comes to one and we can easily work out what the remaining one is. So if we list out the possible samples of size 3 with a median of 1, let's see what we get. Not many. Okay, we can have all ones or we can have the median as one where we have one one two and then all the combinations of that or we could have this one where the median is one and we're just using one and five and all the combinations there so not many but when it comes to looking at what we would have if we took the median as being two we've got a lot more and that means that I'm going to really want to look at this one, work out this probability, save me a lot of time. So let's start with that then. If we're going to work out the probability that the median equals 1, then for getting all ones first of all, that's just going to be 0 0.5 cubed. So it would have 0 0.5 cubed there. And to this we would add what we get when we have 112. And when you have 112, that's going to be 0.5 times 0.5 times 0.2. So we're going to have 0.5 squared multiplied by 0.2. And there's three of those combinations there, all with the same probability. So I'll just multiply that with 3. And lastly, for this last row here, when we look at 115, then we're going to have a probability of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0.3. In other words, 0.5 squared, okay, times 0.3, and we've got three combinations for that, so times that with three. 
And what we get, if you work that out, is 0 0.5. So put that in there for the 1. And that means if we add these two together, subtract from 1, what we get for 2 is a probability of 0 0.284. It will save you then working all of these out separately. But if you want to just do that as an exercise, do try it. Work out all those probabilities. should find you get 0 0.284. OK, so there's our sampling distribution then of the median of samples of size 3.